in english there's a term called muscle flexing there's another word called posturing now in international relations this is something that countries resort to a lot a lot of muscle flexing is done a lot of posturing and projecting of one's capabilities is done so let's talk about a recent example as iran struck israel this is the first time that iran launched direct strikes on israeli territory that of course raised the alarm across the world whether the war has reignited whether the proxy war between iran and israel now lie exposed and now become overt you know what was so far a covert sort of a military operation is now out in the open and this would be a big provocation for israel the fear was that israel would strike back but that has not happened so far so let me then come back to the phrase that i started with muscle flexing was this muscle flexing then on the part of iran and why was that necessitated the official reason for iran striking at israel is to avenge the strike at the iranian consulate in damascus in syria recently so iran in its statement of course makes it clear that uh, thus far no further don't mess with us you strike uh, you struck at our consulate in syria we will strike you back and we'll strike you harder here's a sample so that is how they fired 300 missiles at israel it comprised of cruise missiles ballistic missiles and drones israel says we intercepted all of it we are not hurt but beware we can strike back at a time and place of our choosing now all of this becomes posturing muscle flexing and all of this has its implications because domestically all global leaders have their own domestic capital to take care of in the sense that if there is internal pressure to strike back for benjamin netanyahu he might just do so and then the war will escalate <clears throat> in all of this let me come back to another point that at this uh, point of time israel says that the attacks were repelled israel is known to have very highly sophisticated military defense mechanism thanks to the us support that they have state of the art technology they had enough intelligence to know that this was going to happen and they intercepted now a couple of interesting aspects here it is being said that saudi arabia shared intelligence with israel that helped them avert these attacks question arise why would saudi arabia instead of helping their muslim brother the uh, has helped the aggressor against gaza against uh, against the palestinian brothers why has saudi arabia chosen to help israel avert these attacks so that is when we come to another aspect of it all the economic considerations remember saudi arabia has such trade links such business deals with us that it is because of it that's that the country uh, has its coffers full today so it owes it to the united states and israel being a stooge uh, for all practical purposes of the united states saudi arabia probably feels compelled to help their business partner the reason why the country is thriving today so they owe it to us more so what it means technically is that you know economic considerations become paramount that is one way of looking at it that saudi arabia is one country and this is a revelation now is one country that cares more for its financial status than anything else it wants its coffers full the countries that help keep its kitchen fires burning matter the rest of it is irrelevant that seems to be what has come out of this the other interesting aspect uh, is of course that you know will russia then also be relevant because enemies enemy is supposed to be a friend and the entire western world uh, with the with the united states being primary among them is pitted against russia because of the ukraine war and uh, so by that logic will russia now come to the rescue come to the aid of iran and help them in their uh, military defense so in that re respect again the the uh, hindi phrase actually would be baap bada na bhaiya sabse bada rupaiya russia has no economic uh, advantage 
of helping Iran because Iran for all practical purposes is actually a business competitor being another oil supplier and Russia has had to face the brunt of being boycotted, being ostracized by the Western world and you know uh, now if Iran also is taken out of the equation Russia might see a business opportunity in this and might feel that it serves them well to have a competition removed from the equation and there and Russian oil may be back in demand those supply uh, chains will now reopen so these are the sort of things that are happening globally and uh, it's a volatile situation in the Middle East, something that we must all have our eyes and ears open to. And I would like to also point out that multiple war fronts may actually open out. On one hand, we may see that Israel is more powerful than Iran because of the Western backing. They have more uh, stronger defense, military and defense systems compared to Iran. Actually, we don't know what is the kind of arsenal that Iran has. And Iran has been hinting at it a number of times that the full extent of our military prowess is not known to the world. So, uh, but even assuming that Israel is far more powerful because of US backing, Iran has the support of other armed militia like the Houthi rebels, the, the, the Iraqi militia, and of course the Hezbollah. Uh, the, uh, the armed uh, militant group from Lebanon. So if these multiple fronts open out against uh, Israel, it could be a headache for the United States. It's an election year. They do not want to focus attention on this area now when they have a much bigger agenda back home. Where does India stand in all of this? Well, um, India is a consumer of oil. So when the oil producing countries get into this sort of a conflict, the supply lines are disrupted, supply chains are disrupted, oil prices go up, economy suffers, we all suffer. Net net, uh, what is uh, the, the takeaway here is that what does not suit anyone at all. We are all together in this and the only way is to resolve matters politically and diplomatically. Warfare is not the solution. It hurts us all, it hurts us all equally. That's what I'll say. Thanks for watching.